how are you doing? We are live in London's Leicester Square for the world premiere of Snow White and the Huntsman. It is a pretty big event, and that is probably an understatement this evening. This is one of the most hotly anticipated movies of 2012, and they've taken over Leicester Square. We're used to a red carpet, but tonight we have the grassy carpet of the Enchanted Forest over there, working its way down to the dark, dark forest over here. Loads of people from the movie are going to be joining me up on this stage and waiting to pounce on all of those guests as they arrive is none other than Helen Fospero. Hi, Helen. Hi, Matt. Well, this is where the cars will pull up in just a few moments, carrying all the stars of the film. I'll be on hand right here to catch an early word with each celebrity as they arrive. Thank you very, very much, everyone, for camping. I've heard stories that people have been camping for, like, days, so... If, if you have, give me a cheer! Okay. You guys are amazing. <laughs> Honestly, it's so overwhelming. I, I, first of all, I don't know how you deal with the weather. And just, it's just, it's, you, you guys are filled with love. Thank you so very, very much. I thought this was a very iconic character that we all somewhat know. And the idea of shaking her up in this big epic landscape was something that I was really excited about. I'm pretty sure that I ran around the school playground pretending I was Robin Hood or a knight at the round table. So having the opportunity to play this on screen is, is a dream come true, literally. Kristen, it was such a coveted role to play Snow White. Uh, what really appealed to you about her character? Well, she's kind of exactly who you always expect Snow White to be. She encompasses all of those general characteristics. She's really good. She's essentially, you know, selfless and connected to the earth in some way. But I thought it was really cool that we humanized her and made her somebody that had to fight to be those things rather than just having them so easy. And I think if you're going to do a movie about female empowerment, you should stay a girl. You shouldn't do like some weird imitation of a guy. And she's so steady and strong, and she doesn't have to be like loud and in your face to do so. She's like, you know, her strength isn't about her size. Her strength is so much about her mind and her heart and all that. I'm stood next to the very talented and very dapper Rupert Saunders. How are you? I'm very well, actually. Yeah, my nerves have subsided a bit, and uh, a bit like working on this film. I was nervous at first when I got into it. It wasn't actually that bad, so yeah. Where do you even begin to tackle a story as classic as Snow White? Um, I think you go back to the uh, the original, really. You know, you, you uh, it, it's an amazing piece of material that's as relevant now as it was then. It's only seven pages, so obviously you have to really start building it from the inside out. But it's uh, you know, it's a very gripping, very exciting piece of, of material, and really the idea was to create a massive action adventure for a very modern audience from it, which I, I hope we've done. I'm very proud of the film. My character has the important job of instilling a lot of faith into her daughter Snow White and uh, making sure that she is able to rule her kingdom. I've had the opportunity to kind of turn Prince Charming upside down. Um, you know, the director and the writers have developed this character that, you know, he's got a bit of backbone, you know, he's, he's different. So we're, the character that we all know and love from the classic story, and um, yeah, he's a bit more gritty. You're one of eight dwarves. Was there a lot of camaraderie amongst the other dwarf actors? Were you a little band of fellows there? Uh, well, we all kind of hated each other, so I just stayed in my trailer all day. I didn't talk to them. It was tough. No, you no, detested I'm, everyone? Yeah. No, I'm joking. No, no, uh, they're kind of guys. A lot of them were people I grew up watching. Uh, it was the creme de la creme of, of the who's who of British acting, so I was absolutely delighted to be working with them. How the devil are you? Uh, very well. Yeah, I'm here at uh, Leicester Square to watch a lovely film. So, yeah, I'm happy. And not just a lovely film, a lovely film that you are in playing one of eight dwarves, Neon. Tell us a bit about him. Uh, yeah, I play Neon. He's a kind of angry man. You know, his home and his family have been uh, destroyed and blowed up. And, uh, you know, he's, he's very bitter about it and he doesn't trust tall people. And uh, this is where we meet him. This is where we find him. But Lily, uh, amazing role in the movie. What was it like for you? Um, it was amazing. It's such a, an extraordinary group of people who've come together to make this. Um, Rupert's an extraordinarily talented director and it was brilliant actors. And so I felt very privileged to be part of it and to see the work of everyone else around me. Uh, it was really good fun. They were fantastic um, actors, some of whom I'd worked with before. So it was kind of thrilling to work with them as a big group. And it worked really, really well, I think. I mean, I hope I haven't seen the film yet, but I, it was... It was, it was great to work as a big group, you know. Don't worry, Leicester Square, you are not seeing double. I'm not stood next to a mirror. I'm joined by Chris Hemsworth. 
Hi, How are you, buddy? I'm very well. Lovely to see you, as is ever the case. Now, talk to me about the Huntsman. Uh, he's not your sort of regular brutish character, is he? He's a, he's a tortured soul. He's a lost soul, and uh, he's suffered some trauma, and um, he's kind of given up on life and himself, and become a bit of a drunk. And uh, but there's a fair amount of vulnerability under there, and uh, it takes Snow White and, and her. Uh, her strength to reawaken the, the, the good in him. Now, you spent a lot of time in the mud, the wind and the rain. This doesn't sound like the most glamorous movie uh, shoot that I've ever heard of. No, it was one of the, uh, the the more difficult ones I've ever been a part of, you know? And, and once we started shooting to the time we finished, you were in the thick of it. And we went from obscure location to obscure location, you know, the snow-capped mountains and, and deep, dark forests and in the mud and in the rain, in the lake and whatever, but you lived and breathed the characters and uh, it looks all the better for it on screen, you know. It, whatever pain we were feeling, it, we weren't pretending. It was, uh, we were that cold and uncomfortable. It's been um, just incredible, the amount of people that have come out and, and not in the best of weather. And thank you for freezing for us. We hope we won't let you down. What is it about her that drives her so angry? You know, I think, I think we know her so well as the Evil Queen that it was really fun to kind of work backwards and figure out why she was the Evil Queen. And, and that, to me, was a really interesting thing to do. And, and so by the time we had to do all the evil stuff, I, I had a really good foundation on who she was. And so a lot of that evil stuff felt really justified. And I thought to myself, yes, of course I have to behave this way. I heard that during this movie, you had to experience conditions not dissimilar to tonight. Freezing cold in the mud, in the water. It doesn't sound that glamorous. How was the experience of shooting this film for you? Um, I, I love the fact that we're not faking it. I mean, I think it's so much cooler to watch genuine discomfort on screen. And uh, I can tell you that most of the time, I'm either freezing my butt off or, you know, like pulling some muscle or destroying my thumb or like I, I, I think that uh, R Rupert definitely creates a world that is real and you don't have to you know don't have to fake much and, and the reason you want to do this job is because you want to get as close to those experiences as you can and I think we did. Thank you so much for joining us tonight thanks for getting involved on Twitter as well we've loved having you take part in this the world premiere of Snow White and the Huntsman but sadly and I mean that sincerely it is almost over from us but do go and see the movie it's out on May the 30th I know you're absolutely gonna love it see you soon bye bye